Last fall, Stephen Carlson put together one of the best seasons by a wide receiver in Princeton football history. But while he tallied over 900 receiving yards and was an all Ivy League selection, it was Jesper Horstead who set the program's single season records for receptions and receiving touchdowns and garnered most of the attention. And Carlson is okay with that. When I tell people about the season, I never bring up my, like, oh, I had these catches and these stats. It's always more like, oh, we had one of the best offenses in Princeton football history. He's always been so workmanlike that uh, he just goes about his business and it, and it is like a motivational boost to all of us. I don't think that he, in the absence of Jesper or some other guys, um, needs to talk more, has talked more. It's just we now notice Steve's work and, and point it out and uh, show it to the young guys as an example of how to carry yourself. With Horstead away from the team this spring, patrolling the outfield for Princeton baseball, Carlson has taken on the responsibility of helping the Tigers adapt to life after Chad Kanaf, the Bushnell Cup winning quarterback who graduated as Princeton's all-time leading passer. A lot of the receptions are on Chad. You know, he puts the ball in the right spot, and, and all the quarterbacks, they do their job. So I know if, if Chad didn't have as good of a season as he did, then I probably wouldn't have had as good, good a season as I did. And if Jesper wasn't on the other side, um, making catches and, and scoring touchdowns, and I probably wouldn't have been doing the same thing. So, yeah, I had a great season, but it's also, I have to give credit to other people who did their job. Last season was helpful in getting experience, and now it's a matter of just translating that to younger guys who will have to step up next year on the offense. Good off, good projection, looking end zone, Carlson, up and over the defense, touchdown, Princeton! One of my favorite catches was the Columbia catch I had over there in the corner. There's even like a picture online of Coach Oric and Coach Gleason with like a little chest bump. And every time I look at that, it, um, it's, it's just like a reminder of how awesome football can be. And, and just little plays like that are, are things you're going to remember for the rest of your life. The moment with Steve that we all talk about is in spring football last year, our last practice, we had a red zone period and he caught, you know, one of these now, Steve Carlson emblematic touchdown catches where he jumps over somebody and grabs a ball in the end zone on a, on a fade route. And he did it in the spring when uh, we needed a play. And uh, I think that moment when we were in a spring where we didn't know who was going to emerge, he positioned himself as a guy that we could trust and, and we thought would make some plays. Even with plenty of catches like that already on his resume, Carlson's focus this spring has been on physicality. Our defense uh, is pressing a lot this year um, in, in, in the spring and getting off of press is one of the, the things that we were challenged with last year. A lot of teams would just uh, press Jesper and I and make us throw the ball over top. So that I know going into the next season, that's going to be a big thing for me, and so I'm getting as much work as I can with, with different techniques and seeing what works and what doesn't, and then uh, just making sure I'm staying strong in the weight room. We face man-to-man -man defense a ton throughout the course of the year, uh, and you're looking for someone to make a play for you in, in a matchup situation. And I know our guys will, will lean heavily more on him, given his, his exposure to that this past fall and all the success he had. And don't overlook the impact the new bubble over Powers Field has had on the Tigers' offense this offseason. The biggest thing the bubble has given us is just time with the quarterbacks, um, throwing the ball in the winter. We, we never really, all of last winter, we couldn't go outside and, and throw because of all the snow. And now, anytime after a lift, pretty much like almost every day of the week, we're in the bubble just throwing a couple routes with the quarterbacks, working on timing, stuff like that. So it's, it really made the transition into spring ball a lot smoother, I think, and it just made us better players because we have, we're spending more time working on our craft. For GoPrincetonTigers.com, I'm Cody Cruchel.